Today we're gonna take a look at Zen UV 5.0. The add-on has been recently updated, bringing a lot of new features and workflow enhancement tools. In this tutorial, we're gonna explore what it offers and how it can improve your UV mapping process. Zen UV is actually a powerful add-on for creating UVs. It turns what's usually a boring and monotonous task into a much more enjoyable and efficient process. And I will walk you through the tools it provides. First, download the example file from the example panel. Click the download button next to the emergency light. And don't forget to allow internet access under preferences, system, then network. Once the scene is downloaded, click open to start a new project with the example model. Before we begin unwrapping, we need to prepare the model. Zen UV uses a global mark system by default, but we can adjust the mark settings to include both seams and sharp edges. Go to the Unwrap tab and find the Properties button located to the right of the mark by Angle button. In the pop-up menu, enable the Mark Sharp Edges option. Next, press the Unmark All button in the Unwrap tab to clear any existing seams and sharp edges. You can also switch to the Advanced UV Maps tab and delete any existing UV maps. To finalize preparation, make sure to check the scale of the objects for which UV coordinates will be created. Make sure the scale is exactly one. If not, apply the scale. Once your model is ready, we can start unwrapping. The first step is to unwrap the model into UV islands. At this stage, the unwrapping does not have to be perfect because we will address all the issues later. You can mark seams depending on the edge angle, so sharper edges will be marked as seams automatically. This helps define where the model will be split. To better see what you're doing, it is a good idea to keep the UV editor open while working on your UVs. You can do this using this special UV gizmo widget right here. Now with the seams marked and everything set up, we can unwrap our model. Zen Unwrap is the main operator in Zen UV. This option is multifunctional, so depending on which selection mode is currently active, what is selected, and what properties are set, the operation will produce different results. For instance, if you are in phase selection mode, hitting Zen Unwrap will create a new island from the selected polygons, and the edges will be marked as seams. So, for example, select a few faces from the light and hit Zen Unwrap. As you can see, the edges of the selection are marked as seams, and an island is created in the UV editor window. But if nothing is selected, the add-on will use the seams we just created instead. So deselect everything and hit Zen Unwrap. Now, as you can see, the model is divided into islands, but this is not perfect. We need to create additional islands and even straighten some of these UVs. But first, to check for mistakes at this stage, you can apply one of the many checker textures that the add-on provides. What you're looking for when checking is consistency. If you see any squares distorted or any stretches on your model, this is a clear sign that something is going wrong. You can also disable crease sharp and bevel. For a cleaner look, you can even adjust the brightness of the texture so it doesn't interfere with visibility. If you want to delete the image, simply hit the X next to the image name in the UV editor. We will try to address parts of the model one by one. First, we will start with the light. Select the light faces, go to the Select tab, and hit Isolate Island. This will hide everything except for the selected island. It also works as a toggle, so pressing it again will show the rest of the mesh. Now we'll take advantage of another function of Zen Unwrap. Select only the cap. This will create additional islands based on our selection. Now switch to Edge Selection Mode. Select the longest edge of the cylinder and hit Zen Unwrap again. This will place a seam on our selection and unwrap the mesh based on that. You might notice that the mesh is unwrapped, but there is still some distortion. That's why we're gonna use the new Quadrify operator. This allows you to straighten UVs very quickly, but not every UV island is meant to be straightened, and sometimes it is not optional to use Quadrify. In our case, with the cylinder, this will work perfectly. So switch to Edge Selection Mode, select one lengthwise edge, and click the Quadrify button in the Transform panel. Just make sure to check the option in the Operator Properties panel to use selected edges. 
This will allow you to split the island along those edges. There are also many options here to customize the Quadro 5 process, and we can do this for all islands. But we have another problem. Some of the islands are intersecting in the UV editor. To fix that, hit back under the pack panel to eliminate overlapping and take advantage of all the UV space. Now that we have this part unwrapped, we can tag it as finished. Tagging a part of the model as finished is a great way to keep everything organized. It also helps identify which parts are done and which still need work. To mark something as finished, head to the unwrap tab, expand the panel called finished and select all the islands. Then click the tag finished button. By default, islands tagged as finished will be moved to the right of the UV area. You can disable that if you prefer to keep everything in place. Now for the external part. We're gonna do basically the same thing. Hit isolate islands to show the rest of the model again. Select the external part and hit the same button to hide everything else. If you look closely, the inner part is basically just a half cylinder. This can be unwrapped on its own. In face selection mode, select the inner side and hit Zen unwrap. Like before, to correct the bending, use Quadrify. You don't even need to select the whole thing, just one face will work. For the outer shell, we can use Project from View. Make sure you are in the top view and select the faces at the top. Then, choose Project from View. For the rest, add seams on each corner to split the side accordingly. This will help you align those parts to the axis much better. As before, use Quadrify to align everything then select everything and tag it as finished. Next is the cable and all the small details. Same as before, we're gonna isolate all of them. Mark by angle works well for most objects, but for the cylindrical shapes here, it is better to break them into their own islands. Select one edge from each of the small pieces and unwrap again. Now all parts are separated into islands, but some are still stretched or deformed. An easy way to fix this is to use the Select Quad Islands operator from the Select panel. Once you select everything, hit Quantify again, then pack and mark as finished. For the wire, we can easily use Zen Unwrap again to separate each island individually. To fix distortion, simply apply Quantify. As before, hit pack and mark as finished. Lastly is the handle. This one might look a bit tricky, but it is nothing Zen UV can't handle. The ends of the handle the hex-shaped angons are gonna cause a problem, so deselect those and unwrap again. You see, we still have distortion, and to fix that, select the inner edge of the handle and the edge of the hole and unwrap again. Now, the unwrapping looks better, but we can improve it. Due to the triangulation on the shape, we can't use Quadrify, but we have another tool to fix the distortion, and it is called Reshape Island. The Reshape Island operator lets you align the selected edge loops into a straight line and relax the remaining vertices. In your example, if you select the long edge running between the two sides, I mean the two sides of the handle, and hit reshape island, you will get this result. Now you can pack this as well and mark it as finished. Now that everything is unwrapped and ready, we can move to the final pack. At this stage, what you want is to make use of every available UV space any free space on the texture is wasted resources, so make sure that there are no hidden parts and pack everything together. If you look closely at our pack, you will see it's not as optimized as it should be. For example, there is free space on the side, and a lot of repeating islands like small details, cutouts or bolts, the bolts themselves, and so on. We can optimize these islands by using a technique called stacking which layers similar islands with similar materials or textures on top of each other. In the Zen UV window, switch to the Stack tab, click the Replicas button. The animal will select all islands that have duplicates, keeping only the original. Move the selected replicas to the side of the UV area. In the Pack window, choose your texture size and margin, then run the pack one last time on the remaining islands. To bring back those replicas, in the Stack panel, switch the system to Selected mode. Select everything except the replicas and hit stack. Now the wrapping is complete, but we can improve our textures by setting sharp edges, and Zen UV can help with that too. Using the Sharp by UV Border operator, setting sharp edges ensures a clean appearance and good looking normals when baking. Pro tip 
When baking, there should not be stacked islands. Use the unstacked operator before baking for better results. This will offset the islands, and you can put them back after the bake. So head to the unwrap panel and choose the sharp by UV border operator. This will mark the boundary edges of islands as sharp. In the operator settings, turn on the unmark sharp option, which will remove any previously set sharp edges. Since we already have our sharp edges set, we can finish by using the smooth by sharp operator to set smoothing based on the sharp edges. With that, our model is done and it is ready for baking or texturing. This tutorial is based on the guide from the official Zen UV documentation. If you're interested, you will find the link in the description. And if you want to explore more advanced features, workflows, or in-depth explanations, be sure to visit the Zen UV documentation page. It is incredibly detailed and covers all the aspects of Zen UV, making it an invaluable resource for both beginners and experienced users. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in Zen UV, you will find all the necessary links in the description. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.